Did you did you feel like your instinct, like because your just basketball instinct was has been that way since you started playing, or did you have like a period when you were younger where you felt like mentally like a, a switch flipped and you kind of figured it out? No, I wouldn't say like switch. I would say like just like I said through the years, you know. Uh, when I was in Madrid, I was always playing with the older guys, so I could learn a lot from them. Then with 16, I started to practice with the first team. And, you know, you just watch and then try to do it on the court and just learn from that. What made you, at 13 years old, travel, move to a – sign with Real Madrid, travel and move to a different country, a 1,000 miles away from where you grew up? No, we use kilo- kilometers in Europe. <laughs> No, I can. Ah, it was a tough, very tough decision, man. It was. Uh, I had to leave all my family, all my uh, all my friends, the school I was there, everything, you know. So I was just, I wasn't gonna go. Uh, and then just one day I woke up and I say I want to go, but like for six months I was saying no, and then one day I woke up and say I want to go, and it didn't turn out bad. Can you? Can you? Do the math real quick. Do you know how many kilometers a, thou- a thousand miles is? Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I think one mile is like 2.3 kilometers. Okay. If I'm not... So roughly 2,300 kilometers. Yeah, but okay. I think so. I don't know. All right. Did you, did you have periods when you were there where you were... Because no. you were still so young. You didn't regret it at all? You just were like, I fuck mean, this? First, let's say like first three, four months, um, <clears throat> it was really tough. I didn't know nobody. Actually, I I almost didn't speak English either. Like I just know how to say hello, how are you, with that stuff. Nobody spoke my language. I didn't speak Spanish, so it was really tough. And that's how it, I learned Spanish so quick. And in three months, I could speak Spanish like this because I would just listen. But it was really tough, you know. It, in three months, I was like just doing nothing, just be there, listen, be quiet, and just just stay there. Uh, can you sort of? compare the nba to maybe not just the acb but the euro league in general and and the euro league is probably the second best league in the world yeah acb in terms of a national league is probably the second best so just kind of compare the two the nba between europe well i would say uh european basketball is more team basketball uh more tactics basketball but it's uh you know uh, it's very different because the court is smaller, uh, the fouls are different, the rules are different, so everything's different, and you have less time. Uh, but just playing in the NBA, you know, you have guys that they're almost impossible to guard, uh, and that's why NBA is way more tougher to play. I, w- I only say scoring is easier in, in NBA, just because of the amount of the different rules, the less space, the time. So that's why I said it. You, you, so you think it, it's harder to score 30 points in a, in a EuroLeague game than it is in an NBA game? Yeah, 100%. But there's better players over here. Oh, way better players. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, no, I'm just saying because of the rules. Yeah. Because the guy can stay. If you have a guy like, let's say, Rudy Gobert, he's gonna, he can stay in the paint on defense three seconds, however he wants. Like Just because of that rule, you can have 10 more points easily. Makes sense. Yeah.